I'm delighted to introduce our recent uh, publication on the use of creams in atopic dermatitis. It's got a complicated title um, which refers to the use of both uh, moisturizers and steroid creams in people who have atopic dermatitis. Atopic dermatitis is exceedingly common both in children and adolescents as well as in adults worldwide and it can be a really debilitating condition uh, causing dry skin, massive itchiness and lots of downtime, distress and anxiety, sometimes even in hospital treatment uh, for the patients affected. The mainstay of getting it under control for patients is to use lots of moisturizers uh, which are called emollients by dermatology doctors. Also, patients are uh, encouraged to make use of steroid creams as and when they have certain patches of their skin going inflamed. Now, the use of moisturizers is recommended to be done twice daily and the guidelines actually recommend that GPs prescribe as much as a, a whole pint-sized tub every week to patients but nobody really knows what people use. So we were able to um, use health prescribing records in Scotland uh, in great detail and found out that, in point of fact, most patients with rather severe atopic dermatitis don't use much more than only a third of a standard toothpaste tube. So our findings suggest that people don't really use moisturizers as a prophylactic to keep their skin in a good state, but they rather only tend to use it as and when their skin gets inflamed, which is obviously too late. And it also suggests that many thousands of patients possibly could have a much more favorable course of their disease if they were to apply moisturizers twice daily. So one strong point about the study is that we were able to use electronic health records for almost a thousand patients over the span of 12 years um, to basically compile and detail every one of their medical prescriptions including those made for non um, eczema conditions and therefore we were able to associate the amount of steroid creams used to um, increase in the regular use of antidepressant medication and these findings would suggest that there is a strong link between flares in atop dermatitis and uh, mental health issues such as anxiety and depression.